Some Bollywood razzle dazzle today at the Mintra Bangalore Fashion Week, and we have with us Archana Kocher and the beautiful Richa Chada and Nikhil Duvedi. Hi all. Hi. Hello. Hi, Hi everybody. Uh, so Archana, let's begin with you. Tell us something about your show. It was inspired by the architecture of Rajasthan and uh, the palaces, um, the elephant rides that take you to the palaces, the mirror work ceilings, you know, the Shish Mahal. So all these things inspired me into making this collection. So you would see little little elements of this happening all over. In the embroidery, there was a lot of mirror work that we used, uh, antique mirror work, mirror work. Then we had these little elephant motifs like this one running through a uh, lot of pieces. Right. So do you feel that Richa looks like the typical Rajasthani princess today? Yes, I think she does. I, I think she. She looks very pretty in Indian wear oh, and that's you. the reason I thought she would uh, look beautiful in this garment and I think she's done full justice to it. They both have. They both look lovely. So Richa, what do you feel about the clothes that you're wearing? Actually, Archana sent me a few options but this one really looked nice. It was unusual. It had the kurti with the low back. I'm happy to wear Indian clothes always. I think Indian women look good in Indian clothes. Uh, Nikhil, so today's uh, regular Indian man, how well versed you think he is with ethnic Indian clothing? I can speak for myself, I'm not. And I don't wear Indian ethnic too much. I've realized today, after wearing her clothes, that I should. And I think even Richard was telling me. You look really nice in Indian. I, I yes, really think bandi you should look do more. Looks nice on him. Yeah. Yeah. And I think uh, this bandi look is a very popular look right now. Mm. It looks very nice with kurtas and jeans down also. So, Archana, you decided to get both of them as your showstoppers. Why so? I thought they would both look lovely and I think they did um, complete justice to the garments and they look lovely on the ramps so I'm very happy I chose them to be the showstoppers for today. So there's a, a little bit of bling that we see on your clothes so how do you think that it's it's the best way to carry your bling this season? Um, so I think everybody is evolving in their taste in their sensibilities today. Um, people don't want too much of bling so even if it's bridal or if it's um, for occasions people want bling but in small quantities so that's what we've tried to do in, the, in this entire collection that the bling is, uh, bling is there but it's very minimalistic um, so similarly I mean these are all uh, it's mm. a lehenga but there's such little work happening Do you have some style trends for brides who are getting married this fall winter? In general would be the try different silhouettes what I have seen is a lot of brides uh, end up thinking that I look lovely in a lehenga and keep doing a lehenga for all their functions so don't do that um, style tips are that uh, definitely uh, do a silhouette board for yourself and do a color board for yourself. So you don't end up wearing the same, you know, you can't say I look nice in pink and I'll do different shades of pink. So do different families of color. You can leave pinks and reds for one. And then, um, you know, do minty colors, do fresh colors. They're all young. So do these nice fresh colors. Do maybe a peacock family, blue greens for another one. So experiment with colors. So I would say experiment with a lot of things. That would be nice. The silhouettes especially. And fusion silhouettes are doing very well. So they should try and get themselves fusion silhouettes. Fusion silhouettes are like um, uh, gown saris. Like um, they look really nice. They have the Indian sensibilities. People appreciate it in an Indian occasion, and yet they look different. I'm going to ask all the three of you to give us one fashion secret that you closely guard to. If your hair is right, everything is right. I think color blocking is a great way to pep up your outfit. Uh, so if you uh, invest in a couple of uh, accessories which are uh, bright peppy colors and color block your outfits with that, it just brings up, pops up the whole look. So that's something that uh, one should experiment uh, with. Get some nice handbags, shoes, maybe sometimes just lipsticks and nail polishes of popping colors. Or it could all be simpler things, but just, you know, to uh, give a little bit of life to your whole look. So color blocking. I personally want to experiment with one element of quirk per look. So like if I'm wearing uh, formals, I'd, I'd like to wear a really big bow tie or, you know, odd spectacle frames or whatever. Shoes, lipsticks, hats, glasses, accessories basically or even clothes but with different silhouettes. Or. Thank you, the cool trio for being with us and uh, we hope to see you next season. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.